So that's part of why we're getting cold and not having a good time and all that. Alright, I think I'm actually going to have our character just have themselves a hefty drink and go back to sleep, because... Actually, let's let's not let's not go for the drinks. Let's, because I don't want to walk around in the dark. Where was our medicine cabinet? Which one was it? Was it this one? There we go. I will just take a sleeping pill, because skulking around in the dark sounds like a bad time. Um, the reason I don't have a roof is we don't have carpentry high enough to make stairs yet, and so I can't get high enough to build a roof. Uh, and that'll take me grinding out some carpentry to, uh, to be able to do that. I think we're at carpentry 5. Yeah, so we're, we're getting close. I just need to actually dedicate time to carpentry. And I probably should do that, but, you know. Want to keep killing zombie. Alright, the sleeping pill's taking effect. We're getting sleepy quicker. So we should get sleepy pretty soon. There, now we'll wake up and it'll be daytime. Alright, doesn't look like we have anything here. How are you doing? So we can harvest these, but I want to make sure I get seeds. So I'm just going to quickly check, see if I have more uh, seeds for cabbage. I do have plenty of cabbage seeds, so I'm just going to pull them up. Hey, farming one. So we now have our food problem sorted out for a little while, and at this point, it's time to turn our generator on. Because now I actually have something I want to refrigerate. Oh yeah, getting, getting nimble up to a high level is just an absurdly good time. So I grabbed a bunch of cabbage. I don't have a trowel on me, so where's my trowel? Hey, Growlcore, how's it going? Hey, yo-yo. Everyone turning out tonight. Love to see it. Um, and as a reminder, we're probably going to spin in and do our multiplayer in a bit. Uh, that will be with a bunch of the um, usual group. Probably uh, Moon, Nier, um, Jet. We'll see all who can make it. Mostly lurking doing housework? Hey, no problem. Housework isn't going to get itself done, so I get it. It's also convenient that it's raining so I don't have to water these. Oh, we had someone cash in five push-ups. Um, yeah, give me two seconds and I will uh, do those five push-ups real fast and I'll be right back. Like, this stream is nowhere remotely close to being able to, like, 
financially support me or anything. Just really kind of looking to have a break. And as a reminder to people, the salad bowl is incredibly overpowered. That cabbage does nothing for me normally, but if I just put in a salad bowl, magically it makes us happy. Why? I don't really know, but, you know. I do accept that it would be happier about eating, like, cabbage strips out of a bowl more than just, like, biting into the side of a head of cabbage. That said, neither of those sounds actually that exciting to me without, like, seasoning or dressing or more veggies or something in there. Like, eating straight cabbage for weeks and weeks I think would actually make me pretty upset. But, in Project Zomboid, our character's like, Yay! A single ingredient in a bowl. And as a reminder, you do have cruise control in the game. Uh, shift W to accelerate by increments of 5. Shift S to slow down by increments of 5. And then if you tap the brakes, you just drop out of cruise control. Did I mention the katana is a really good weapon? Bad. For those curious about that, I don't usually make a big thing about what I've got going on in my work life and all that. Just so much as the other day I did mention that um, I'm going to be taking a sabbatical. Just been working for like the last 20-something years full-time non-stop and just like, you know, I'm ready for a nice little break and then seeing what the next adventure is going to be. Come on, zombie. Oh, it's going to be sad when I have to go back after, from um, using the machetes and the katanas and go back to, like, the crowbar and all that. Like, crowbar is a perfectly good weapon. But machete, like the long blades are all excellent. Take apart your radio. That would have been a not fun way to die. Luckily we got decent nimble, so we just weaseled our way out of range.
Alright. I don't plan on honking the horn the whole way we ride up and down the road, because that just will get us anywhere fast. But uh, we are going to start moving our way towards Riverside, I think, because there's not many zombies here. Not sure I'm ready to declare it eradicated, but, um, maybe. Like, even the areas we clear, the zombies are going to wander in in small groups from time to time. It's just a matter of, are there going to be zombies there if we roll through at any given time in a meaningful number? Because if I keep rolling through the same town again and again, I'll never actually get progress. Versus we roll away from the town for a while, come back, clean up whatever wanders in. And even though this truck's a piece of junk, I am using it because its engines is obnoxiously loud to the zombies. So I don't have to go searching them out as much. They'll come to me. Uh, one moment. Let me check which way I want to go to Riverside. Yeah, we'll just go this north route. That's fine. Miss this katana when it's broken. Because, like, with the crowbar, it's going to take me. I mean, it can take one shot, but realistically, two, three hits for most zombies. And I don't really care about the loot in houses at the moment. Like, we'll go and loot houses when we need things. But um, otherwise, it's mostly just getting to the zombies, keeping the count dropping. That one has a nightstick. We want to get the one with the, uh, the lady in the jeans. Hold zombie. Thank you. And you're going to see these zombie counts get way heavier the closer we get to Riverside. Right now we're basically in the middle of absolutely nowhere, which is why we're not seeing that many zombies. Again, that's too close. I need to not miss. The katana has a habit of getting you to Superman complex. We've died that way before. I should be taking my time and fighting safely. The times I'm getting in trouble when I'm doing that is when I'm moving towards or like an angle of the zombie as opposed to normally what I do is I back up the moment I go to swing. That way if I miss or anything like that I'm going to keep out of range. Yeah, 
And I'm not stopping for just one zombie. Like, we'll come back and deal with that. Well, unless they're, like, in the middle of the road. Because my figure, if we keep making noise, we'll draw the zombies to the road. Yep, so this one. I don't like this spot because these trees block your ability to see the zombies on the sides of the road. Yeah, there's a whole horde there. There's another horde behind us, which is fine. We have a katana. It doesn't matter. Numbers are irrelevant. We deal with behind first. You know, someone had mentioned you don't see a katana until after 60 days. Uh, that would check out because we are after 60 days and we do have a katana now. Looks like we got the zombies here. You look like the kind of group I'd expect to see a large backpack in, but I'm also not seeing a large backpack. I am seeing a spear though, which is always nice. Eventually we'll be able to kill zombies like that, but not with requiring like the katana to do it. Alright, where were you, Spear? You're here somewhere. Was it the first group? Yeah, it was. Hunting knife up here. There we go. Cool. And also as a reminder, this is a um, a slower playthrough just because we are killing everything. So when it comes to moving around, like the first couple of laps, I end up having to do this type of thing where we just go a little ways, stop, kill a bunch of zombies, go a little ways, stop, kill a bunch of zombies. But very quickly it'll change. Oh, that's a stake, I don't want it. 
to where we'll see less and less zombies as we move around and be able to just travel around easily. I haven't the best of luck with this katana so far as its durability. It's taken two ticks pretty quick. There is a hunting knife there I'd like to get. And real close to 6,000 zombies. See if that other group that we saw off the side of the road also shows up. Goodbye, Katana. You have served us well. I'm going to back up and get out our spear. We gotta draw this many zombies. Because now, unfortunately, I have to go back to fighting normal. No more machetes and spear- or no more machetes and, uh, katanas to carry us through. And I think I am going to keep all the broken katanas and shit and um, machetes and all that just because I want to see like on a map this big with this many zombies like how many we do end up getting in total. Alright, those are probably wrecks as well. That, that's the unfortunate side. Anytime I see them like that, they're wrecks. Hey, buddy. That could have been really bad.
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's very difficult to level up skills. Like, you saw how many zombies we ripped through with the long blade, and we're still... Oh, I guess we're at four. That's pretty good. So the good news almost always about these police cars, you almost always get ammo and such out of them, so it's usually pretty good. Night six rise a plus. don't want the gun, I just want the ammo, because I've got others of the gun. Same with you. ourselves like 15-ish bullets just off the bodies. No keys, which is always annoying, but that's fine. All right, let's talk. Okay, as far as a gun goes, this thing is completely and utterly ruined. But it's got some nice upgrades. So the gun itself, I'm not keeping. Because holy crap, that gun's destroyed. Sure, they're both wrecks, but let's just look. Yup, wreck. They'll both be that way. Why are you in such terrible shape, Rifles? Here, let's grab both rifles, because you can use one to repair the other and see if it actually gets okay. Still terrible. So we got some stuff to throw in the back of the truck. Then to get those off the road. Bunch of bullets. Love to see it. Yeah, 
And so I tow these out of the road. That is, uh, not great. We'll get it there, though. The reason I wanted to tow those off the road is just that way when I roll through next time, if I'm driving fast and not watching, I don't have to worry about it. Hey, Pankraru, how's it going? Um, we got a lot of bullets. There were rifles, but both rifles we saw had, like, no condition left on them, so we didn't keep them. But we did get a decent number of bullets out of it and some nightsticks. Keep following me. I don't want to fight you by the trees. Going for a little walk. We did combine them, and it did, like, negligible uh, repair. Like, it was still at a, maybe 20% repair. And for a gun, it's just like, okay, so you're going to fire once and you're going to jam. Never mind. Well, you have a good walk with the dog and enjoy your dinner. Like, one of them was very upgraded, so we took all the upgrades off of it for a later rifle. starting to clear our way to Riverside, which is exciting. Moving on to the next town. Um, I haven't quite gotten to the point of calling um, Ekron eradicated like we did last time, but um, we're just not seeing any appreciable number of zombies in the area. So I'll probably do a spin around again, Ekron, after we return, see what zombies are there. 
and then declared eradicated. Thoughts on multi-hit weapon option? No, you are, uh... You're not less of a player or anything for enabling it. For the record, like, multi-hit used to be the default for the game. Like, in the past. But uh, multi-hit is really powerful to the point of it does trivialize a lot of stuff. I also feel like it also gets you into bad habits even for when running multi-hit. Because if I have, like, four zombies side by side running at me here like this. With multi-hit, I'm still tempted to make that swing, you know, and then the zombie gets around the outside and just gets you. And if you play with anyone who does single hit after getting in that habit, you just get yourself killed, because you're like, oh, I'll just stun all the things, and then nothing gets stunned. But it's not like there's anything wrong with it, but it is a very powerful setting. I've made the comment on stream a number of times that I wish there was like, all right, those are in good repair, we'll take those. I wish there was like a multi-hit light where it wouldn't just, you know, hit all of the zombies for full damage. Yep, you missed the uh, uh, Katana Rampage. It wasn't nearly as impressive as the last Katana Rampage, for the record, but it was, it was fine. We did probably clear a hundred or so zombies real quick. Just pushed up the road. Yep. I mean, it was at, like, um, when we found it, it was at maybe three-quarter durability. So it wasn't like it was a full katana. But, you know, it's still katana. Alright. And our truck is once again stalled, as it does. Yep, it was today, like maybe half hour ago or so. I see you, zombie. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, you brought friends. Excellent. say heard one coming from the left oh I bet you it's the one from the bottom for some reason they like to walk over to the driver's side door of cars like look at that oh no it wasn't but like look at the driver's side door then walk towards you sometimes it's weird I don't get it but whatever I'm just walking out in the middle of the road. Yep, see, goes to the driver's side door, then comes after me. I don't know why they do that. 
Oh, I didn't check. We're getting drowsy, so it's time to go home. So, for the first couple days, we're pushing for Riverside. We are going to do this whole thing where I clear a bunch of zombies, we get a bunch of the ways there, we have to backtrack, go home, sleep at home. Um, eventually, I will get to the point that we would drive up there and just get into a house at Riverside and stay there. Oh, hey, Bill, don't you finally found your sledgehammer? Awesome. I remember you were uh, tracking through just about everything trying to get one. Where did you ultimately find it? Gotcha. Manhole event. Makes sense. That's what I've heard is to uh, drive around, look for manholes, and check the truck and all that. that that's been a pretty good way of finding it. More or less explore the map, not so much worry about, like, the warehouses and that like you used to. Yeah, I think when our character wakes up tomorrow, we're going to do another lap through the, uh... Through Ekron. See what zombies shake out. And do that till we stop seeing any real zombie presence. I mostly wanted to take advantage of that katana while we had it. Alright, I suspect those two zombies we saw probably following us, I would guess. I just don't like that I really... There we go. I was going to say, I can't really see that well. Uh, yes, I do run lucky on this build. Um, for these kinds of run, lucky is very, very helpful just because any any more weapons I can get, especially early game, are huge. Because just how many weapons you go through because of how many zombies there are. I'm going to need to get a light outside. It was going to get really... Did I hear a zombie? Yeah, I definitely need to get a light outside. I don't see a zombie. 